Hey, welcome into Brack Reacts. I am your host, Brack, here in the Brack's basement studio. This is episode 62. Now let's get the uh, business out of the way. If I can reach, when I reach, 200 subscribers, I'm going to let Ramona watch a movie, but not anything she wants to, because she wants to watch... What do you want to watch again, Ramona? Beaches. Beaches. Now, my wife has been trying to get me to watch Beaches for a long, long time, and Ramona wants to watch Beaches, and I've never seen my wife and Ramona together at the same time. So I'm beginning to think they might be the same person. Is that true, Ramona? No comment. Okay. Well, I'm going to do some more investigating on this. Whatever. Anyway, it's February 14th, so I'm going to watch a movie my wife is making me watch because we met on February 14th, and I proposed on February 14th. Today we're watching a Jane Austen movie. Now, my history with Jane Austen, uh, when I was dating my wife, she made me watch that Colin Firth BBC miniseries. It's five hours long. I've since then seen it six more times. For a total of seven times, that's 35 hours of my life watching Pride and Prejudice, and it's very good. Uh, I've been to Jane Austen's house in Chawton. I think that's how you pronounce it, Chawton. The Jane Austen Museum in Bath. Uh, I've read Northanger Abbey, and last year you and I watched Jane Austen's Persuasion. So this year we're gonna watch Sense and Sensibility. I have no idea what it's about. Now, this is technically not a movie. It's a three-part miniseries, but we're gonna treat it like a movie. But I got my iron brew. I'm ready to go. Fire, fire. Well, am I watching the right movie? Is this a Jane Austen movie? Did not expect something like this. Okay, who are these people? Is this Mr. Bingley and Jane on their wedding night? So far, I really like it. Okay, was that scene the sense or the sensibility? Focus, focus, focus. I promise. That's a nice place. I want to live there. I promised father I would do something for them. Hey, that's uh, Sherlock's brother. Don't be smart. That takes me back. Don't be smart, Sherlock. I'm the smart one. I am the smart one. I used to think I was an idiot. Both of us thought you were an idiot, Sherlock. We had nothing else to go on till we met other children. But that's today. I had not thought it would be so soon. Maybe they met next Monday. It is their house now, Marianne. But why, Eleanor? Because the law is stupid. I'd rather live with the gypsies than share a roof with Aunt Fanny. She's an insufferable woman. If she comes to live here, I might even poison her. <laughs> wow. Watch out for that one. She's murderous. Darling. Boo. We should get the bus down. Maybe shan't. Boo. Lily Mary, there's no need for that. Well, here we are at last. Bitch. <coughs> what about you, Margaret? I'm going to be a writer. I'm going to poison people. And the house belongs to you. Though you neither care for it, nor need it, nor deserve it. Maria. You go, girl. She's saucy. You know you really can't say things like that at the dinner table. I can and I shall. We could hardly afford the gatehouse at Beecham Court. What, are we impoverished now? I think you don't understand how I feel. I do, Mama. But you don't understand economics. Here you all are. Boo. I wondered where you were all hiding. Boo. I bet he's just like her. <laughs> I bet he's not. I bet he's amiable and kind. It's a nice library. Martha! Can I hang out in the library? Those carpets are clean. Go and see to your wife. Yes, but see, this helps with my anger. See? Good morning. Oh, I was just... Beating carpets. <laughs> Elena Dashwood. Yeah, but, I mean, he, he's Matthew Crawley. You know from Downton Abbey? Have you not watched Downton Abbey? And before they or you get any ideas, I will choose my own wife. What on earth do you mean? Well, they're clearly going to push one of the daughters at me. They'll have fixed on that when they heard I was a bachelor. 
Lady Mary Crowley. Library. Look at all the books. I think Look at them all. I want a door like that. This is a library. Mm -hmm. A place of refuge. Exactly. Libraries should be full of dusty old books and nooks and corners and... Preach. Places to hide away in. Riding around in a barouche. And you just... What's a barouche? In a barouche. What? A pony and trap would do. A mighty barouche? Eleanor! Gee, I think you're swell. setting your sights a bit higher than a pony. A horse? A buffalo? Look, I'm Christopher Reeve! Is someone having fun in there? Stop it! I don't like fun. I'll put an end to the fun. Edward is very amiable, but... See, I told you he was amiable and kind. Mama, Mama, it's a nephew from Devonshire! Cut. Do that again. Do it with more feeling. Uh, I was, uh... I'm looking for my Twilight books. Have you seen them? Yes. I do. I will. Yes, I'll marry you. Just ask me. Value your friendship, too. Oh, he put her in the friend zone. I got you this. It's the new Taylor Swift album. I hope you enjoy it. Come on, we know they get together in the end. Come on, we know they do. Your affectionate friend. Friend. That's the cottage? Can I live there? I wonder how many ghosts live there. What's the Wi-Fi password? And Marianne and the youngest Margaret. I'm saucy. My youngest sister is perhaps a little young for her husband, sir. Is she? Yes, I suppose she is. <laughs> <laughs> it's creepy. We were just speaking of you. What's he been in? I've seen him before, too. Not a bit of it. You couldn't have arrived at a better time. You're in the middle of dinner. Is she going to play chopping broccoli? And then he says, it's called the Aristocrats. I'm brooding. Look at me brood. I think he's the sort of man that likes to find fault with everybody and everything. He's a jerk. Like that Darcy guy. Looked out some music which I thought might be of interest to Miss Marianne. Thank you. It's by Cardi B. Why, well, I have a very fine piano forte at Delaford that deserves to be played on more often. I hope you will try it one day. Thank you. I would love to play your instrument. Sit down. Take some refreshment, Callum. Focus. Focus. What do you say, Miss Eleanor? Hey, hey, nudge, nudge, say no more. That's what everybody thinks. How mortifying. Eleanor. Gee, I think you're swell. Almost 25. I found some hypodermic needles. I'm trying to summon a demon. Colonel Brandon's coming. God, he visits all the time. What for? A healthy Does he not have a life? That's an unhappy clock. But poor unhappy clock. Who's this guy? And Felon hurt herself and now a man is carrying her. Don't be alarmed, I beg you, man. <laughs> now a man is carrying her. There. Thank you. Oh, they're gonna fall in love. My name is Willoughby, Mom. Willoughby of Allenham. What? Willoughby of blah, blah, blah? Mark his eyes, Mama. Mm-hmm. He has very fine eyes. <laughs> Lizzie had fine eyes. 
I've been meditating on the very great pleasure which a pair of fine eyes and the face of a pretty woman can bestow. And may one dare ask, whose are the eyes that inspired these reflections? Miss Elizabeth Bennett's. <laughs> and how is the invalid this morning? What you call me? Colonel Brandon, ma'am. Uh-oh. Colonel Brandon's here. Are neither one of them what they seem? What's wrong with Colonel Brandon? What what do we not know? Well, that's the end of episode one. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. And while I'm away, watch this. Smart, Mr. Blackadder, going somewhere nice? No, I'm off to the theatre. Well, don't you like it, then? No, I don't. A lot of stupid actors strutting around, shouting with their chests thrust out so far, you'd think their nipples were attached to a pair of charging elephants. <laughs> and the worst thing about it is having to go with Prince Minibrain. Last time on Sense and Sensibility. Oh, but he's seen me in it twice already. So? He doesn't care what you're wearing. No, you're not. Why doesn't Edward come? I suppose because he has other obligations. Yeah, he's got things to do, you know, with the war going on and economy. Be careful. Don't fall over a cliff like Mary Ann did. Eleanor! Gee, I think you're swell. Eleanor, gee, I think you're swell. Well, what a nice young man. He's like that very nice and kind Wickham. Is this meant to be creepy? Because I'm kind of creeped out. <gasps> Scandalous. I've been to another land in the wardrobe. Can I live there? Would you like to see inside? Is he going to propose? Of course I should. This is the window. Here are the stairs. They shouldn't be alone together. That's highly improper. Ah, here they are at last. Oh, thank God. All well? Very well indeed, I should say. <laughs> nudge, nudge, say no more. Whose dwelling is the light of setting suns. Blah, 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 poetry. And the living air. Beautiful. Trite and insipid. <laughs> what happened? Willoughby! What's going Willoughby, on here? Back. Yeah, what's the deal? Hey, it smells like horse manure. Eleanor. Gee, I think you're swell. Eleanor. No, I've been in Devonshire a fortnight. Have you been to Downton yet? I'm very happy to see you again. And are you? Oh, Timmy, I'm happy to meet you. And are you? What? Was that enough words? <laughs> yes. It's nice to see you again. And are you? And do you have good company? Are the Middletons pleasant people? No, not at all. We couldn't be more unfortunately situated. Are you? <laughs> the Middletons have been very kind to us. I like John, the Middletons. Is the f have we not been happy here? And we as poor as the gypsies. Yeah. You can't say gypsy anymore. Don't you think they're a fine pair of pretty girls? Oh, Sir John, for shame. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're a hoot. Have you found any smart beaux here? I suppose there cannot be so many here as there are in Sussex. Anne, must you always be talking of beaux? I suppose some young ladies don't care for them, but I think they're vastly Like, oh real. my god, like, like this guy's so handsome. I cannot bear to see him dirty enough. LOL, OMG. That Mr. Willoughby is the smartest foe that anyone could wish for. I'm pretty just handsome too. <gasps> It'll be a fine thing to have a married so young. And I hope you may have as good luck yourself soon. But perhaps you have mm -hmm. a friend in the corner. Nudge, already. nudge. Indeed she has. We've seen him once or twice at what has she been in? The one on the left. What's she been in? Why is none of your shit funny? Some of my shit's funny. No? No. Well, comedy is very subjective. With his elder brother. We are engaged. 
Say what now? Mr. Edward, Edward Ferris. Ferris. May I ask That's if awful. your engagement is of long standing? We have been engaged these four years. Wow. But your secret is safe with me. Poor Eleanor. <laughs> that makes me sad. I am quite sure that Marianne is deeply in love. And I have no reason to doubt Mr. Willoughby's feelings for her. He has a great regard for you, Marianne. Yes, and I for him, but he has one great defect. He's not Willoughby. Willoughby's a putz. She'll catch Willoughby with some other lady, and she'll run around crying. My younger brother, Mr. Robert Ferris, Miss Eleanor Dashwood, Miss Marianne Dashwood. Enchanted. In general, I consider him a very poor judge of women. But in this instance, uh, <laughs> I have to concur. You are very kind. <laughs> All right. I present Miss Lucy Steele. Charm. Hello, Lucy. Oh, he Is likes your Lucy. Going to He's here. You know, I, for one, am sick of hearing all about Willoughby. That's all she talks about. Have you not received my letters? Mm-hmm. Which you were so good as to send me. But you see, I'm a complete, total tool. And cue the tears. I don't know. Gee, I okay. think you're swell. Colonel Brandon to the rescue. On the next Sense and Sensibility. Alright, so that's the end of episode two. Uh, another bathroom break while I'm away. Enjoy this. By the Scottish play, I assume you mean Macbeth. Uh, ah! The traitor of the stars, but we make amends. <laughs> what was that? You were exorcising evil spirits. Being but a mere butler, you will not know the great theatre tradition that one does never speak the name of the Scottish play. What, Macbeth? Ah! Hot potato off the stores, but we'll make amends. Ah! Oh, Lord, you mean you have to do that every time I say Macbeth? Ah! Hot potato off the stores, but we'll make amends. Ah! They got a duel? Yes, a duel. All right. Get some action in this Jane Austen movie. Uncle! Uncle! Ooh, it's like blood. Mr. Palmer said he'd as soon be in the black hole of Calcutta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Just a little lover's tiff. Marianne no, and Mr. Willoughby are not putz. lovers, ma'am. And the moon is made of green cheese. <laughs> come, come, Miss Eleanor. I was... It's not green. I entreat your forgiveness. My affections have been long engaged elsewhere. Oh, he returned her hair. But he told you he loved you. Yes. Well, not in so many words. No. Never in so many words, but yeah, everything exactly. he said and did. He used to be married to a Miss Gray. 50,000 pounds. Miss Gray. I want 50,000 pounds. Poor Mary Ann. Oh, Miss Dashwood, what a calamity. Is she very distressed? My OMG. Oh, it's Colonel Brandon. I can't see him, Eleanor. Tell them I can't see him. I bet he turns out to be a great guy and she falls in love with him. A little girl, three years old. Aww. Who became my ward. What age is she now? She is but 15 years old. Correct. She had been abandoned by her seducer. And she has now born his child. Aww. Willoughby. What? 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 Wow. That's a revelation. William the Conqueror, William Rufus, Henry the First, mm -hmm. Stephen. Um, Henry the Second. Henry the Second, Rich the First, first. and Bad uh, King John. Then Henry the Third. If I were a brother instead of sister, I would mm -hmm. fight Willoughby and kill him with my sword. Sounds good. Well, then it's a good job you're not. For I would hate to see you hang for murder. <laughs> But what is to become of us? You're going to be poor. Oh, rest assured. You'll be looked after. If I could see him once more, I thought if he could see his child, 
He might. Let's answer the question. He won't. He's a rogue, a rake, a rascal. You have it in you to attract the men, if you were to go about it the right way. Is that a compliment? Her bloom is quite gone. <laughs> and we've been invited to stay for the whole week. OMG! Mm. Does Miss Eleanor Dashwood play? No, ma'am. No, I play the tuba. Willoughby. Are those almonds? Mmm, almonds. Well, he comes to see Lucy, of course. <laughs> Duh! Oh, what? Uh, you shouldn't have said oh, that. I shouldn't have told you that. It's a secret. Exactly. What's a secret? They are to be married. That Lucy and Edward are sweethearts. They've been engaged these four years. Four like... years? John! Is it little Henry? Thank you, fool. It's her. <laughs> Tell him. Mr. Edward Ferris and Miss Lucy Steele. Uh-oh. Y'all gonna get it. Is it true that you have secretly engaged yourself to this young woman? What have you done? I'm sorry, it just popped out. Answer me. Your brother shall have all your inheritance and you can starve on the streets for all I care. If you send Lucy away, Mother, I must go too. So be it. Go then. I have nothing else to say to you. What a kind, loving mother. But he's to inherit Downton Abbey when Lord Grantham passes away. Charlotte has had her baby. Yeah. A fine boy. And we're all going home to Cleveland. Cleveland? Fun times in Cleveland today. Cleveland. Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone. Come and look at both of our buildings. Colonel Brandon, give me a living. Can it be possible? Say it. I love you. Welcome to Cleveland. Fun times in Cleveland again. Still Cleveland. Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone. Under construction since 1868. Meanwhile, at Stately Wayne Manor. Is this some dream or is she really running around in the forest? Oh, did she escape from Shawshank? Boy, she falls down in the rain a lot. Okay, twice. How are you feeling, dummy? Okay, if she dies, I'm gonna be mad. I want to apologize. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, let's hear it. An innocent girl, only 15 years old, whom you abandoned without a thought. Oh, because I was a libertine, you must be a saint, I suppose. You could have made amends to that poor girl you seduced. Mm -hmm. And you could have told my sister the truth. Will it be don't go? Is she gonna cry and run out in the rain again? <gasps> Look at all the books. And strawberries and peaches. While he plays with his falcon, I'll play the piano, and we'll fall in love. Mrs. Ferrers sends her compliments. Mrs. Ferrers? What? Well, Miss Lucy Steelers was. Married a week gone, she said. Aw. Thank you, Thomas. That's sad. Eleanor? What? Remember back when men came to the cottage all the time? Focus. Focus. Oh, I've had such a long day of being sad. Colonel Brandon has asked me to marry him. What? And how did you answer him? I said that I would. <gasps> Congratulations. Wait, does Eleanor not end up with anybody? I love him, Eleanor. Yeah, you said that about Willoughby. I shall never get married. Boys are stupid. Eleanor, it's Edward! But he married Lucy. Is Mrs. Ferris at Exeter? No, my mother is in town. I meant Mrs. Edward Ferris. Surely you mean Mrs. Robert Ferris? What? You have not heard. My brother is lately married to Miss Lucy Steele. Oh. Fictions also. Thus releasing me from my engagement. Okay. So now you can marry Helen. Yes. <laughs> 
She'll say yes. Come can on. Can you forgive me? Yes. Yes, I can. Will you marry me? Yes, of course I will. <laughs> the word is pronounced yes. Is it a double wedding like in Pride and Prejudice? Remember the first time I picked you up because you went out walking in the rain and got sick and almost died? Yay for Eleanor. All right, well, I liked it. It had a good happy ending as a Jane Austen movie slash novel must. It was interesting. It was fun. It kept me guessing. I mean, other than the fact I knew at the end that they were going to get married. Both of them would marry the guy they wanted. But... They kind of pushed it close to the end. I almost, for a second there, I thought Eleanor was going to wind up an old maid. Before I give my rating, here's a word from our sponsor. Inferior. Would I watch it again? I definitely would watch it again. Do I recommend you watch it? Yeah, I do. It is good. All right, I can't wait for the next one next year. I think it's probably going to be Northanger Abbey. All right, and out of ten locks of hair... I guess I'll give it eight, sure, eight locks of hair out of ten. All right, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.